Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chongqing Major Dota 2 China Qualifiers. This is the last match of the day and Five the last game of the remain. day in the best of two series between Team For the Dream versus Team Asta. And the current score Radiant is Asta 1 for the Dream 0. You are here with me, Cyclops, as your commentator. We are in the first pick of Team For the Dream. The band pick phase is very important. To determine uh, which direction you will go in the game. For Dream still started off with a standard my heroes like Dasso. That oh no, sorry. Dire team pick. Yeah, standard heroes like Dazzle, Radiant. that is good in any situation. Sand King and Chao Charman, Team Asa got Chao Charman for themselves on this one. It feels like in 7.2 OC, the Chinese team tend to secure their supporter first. Maybe because I think, what I think the biggest remain. reason is because 7.20 buffed a lot of position 4 remaining. heroes like Sand King, you know, like Ember Spirit, uh, Kung Ka, all, all that. But they don't buff position 5 hero that much. Very, very little. So that's why the team tend to pick a good position 5 hero first because it's kind of rare. Sometimes you might end up having like a position four heroes as your boat supporters. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I think that's the reason why people love to fight for the post five hero first. In this case, we have like um, the good post five heroes in this game is Silencer, Grimstroke, uh, of course, Wisp, Rubik, Chao Charman. I don't think Ancient Apparition is it's that good yet. Yeah, I think it's it's around a dazzle. Radiant Six. team back. Warchief. Centaur Warchief for team for dream. They might use a centaur Dyer runner as the uh, position four heroes or just go straight for a three. Who knows? That's a good thing. Naga Siren has been banned out. But again, if you uh, losing focus during the draft, you might get to deal with the um, Medusa from Team Aster. I remain. think there's a high chance that Aster is going to pick Medusa on this game. Five seconds and will be remain. played by Sila. Medusa has been banned out. Then, Morphling, Terrorblade, Anti Mage. Still there, faces void. These four heroes. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time already for team for the dream. Dire team back. Ten seconds Lycan. remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick.
Enigma has been banned. Could have surprised you that Enigma banned. In this case, Aster might think that for the Dreams is gonna use the Centaur Runner as a post four. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, it might be a post four. Tusk still in the remaining. pool. If if any team need one more position four, I think it should be a Tusk for Team Aster, and they could use a Sand King as a post three. It's always good to have like two initiator in the team. So if one cannot do it, then another one can start it. Radiant team pick. Having a Jakiro. I can't predict what Asa are gonna pick. They pick a lot of support heroes. They they, they might gonna play the Chao Chaman as the uh, core, or even yeah, the first three heroes of Team Asa could be anyone could remaining. be a core hero. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Phoenix. Ten seconds remaining. Uh. Five seconds remaining. If you take a look at the first six heroes of both parties, you see that this one is going to be a super huge team fight. Are you guys ready for some action? I don't think this one is going to be a micro kill all over the place in a farming game. It should be like packing up as a group and a lot of smokes. With the initiation crazy one from Sand King Battle Strike and a Hoof Storm. I still think Faces Boy. It should be it should be Silent Faces Boy if if you take a look at the first three hero of Team Aster. Radiant team pick. Razor. Oh, Razor first for Lover. Leaving the last hero for Sila. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team back. Venomancer. Venomancer. Okay. Peter Mans are gonna be played as a hard carry for sure. By VT faded. Ten seconds. Just need to remaining. go for a blink dagger for a proper poison nova. Five seconds remaining. But how are they gonna clean the rest? Radiant team ban. For the dream need a the, some kind of heroes like a Tempest Assassin. And well, I predict that Team Ash are gonna pick Faces Boy, but instead they banned it themselves. I can't guess for Aster heroes for Sila. Ten seconds remaining. Radiant team pick.
Slark fan out. Last one. Mid lane for Team For The Dream. Templar Assassin. I think it's gonna be Templar Assassin. They, they need remaining. some cleaner after Venomancer make it all low. Five seconds remaining. They need a real killer on this one. I think it's TA. Team up with the Dazzle. TA for Phantom Sassine. Oh, Phantom Sassine first van. Dire team pick. Terror Blade. Not something I would like to see, but it's good for the late game. It's it's later than, uh, it's harder than TA. So yeah, it makes sense in some way. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. A hero to deal with T with TB. Morphling. Dragonite. Dragonite. Choose your hero. It's pretty much like um a mid game heroes for Team Aether and a sweet Scylla to play Razor instead. Lover will be playing Dragonite in the middle lane against YRG and Faded TB. I I can say that late game, if go super late game, FTD got a chance, but the question is can they just play past like 40 minutes? Prepare for battle. Wow, well, they I'm not sure what are they talking about. Newbie. Uh -huh. Okay. Gonna do some quick intro play who in this game for Team FTD on the Radiant side. Uh, Centaur Runner, YRG on the Venomancer QYQX on Dazzle, VT Faded on Terra Blade, uh, and James on Phoenix for the Aster on the Dire side. Uh, SSS on Sand King, Lover on the Dragonite, Fenrir on the uh, Jakiro, Boboga on Chun Charman, and Scylla on Razor. Split 2-2 two, two again for the body rune. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go.
Interesting, they put the Terror Blade in the middle lane against the level on the Dragonite. And the fight right from the start here. Centaur Runner trying to walk back to the tower. But Bolga chasing on him. Twin Head Dragon switch back to the top to help Scylla in the lane against the uh, Phoenix and Venomanta. Dead. Standing in front of the dragon, I try to zone him out. He has Stop like it. four last hit on the first made of Morphosis. Uh, dragon, I got two. Last like the last game, we defeated completely lost to Lover in the early game. It comes to all. It comes to the last hit. Sorry, I missed that first slot. Actually, the first time I missed it today. Was looking at the fight in the middle. I still love it. No money for you. Back to the bottom lane, the Centaur, and just keep on harassing by chopping the creep. SSS. This is how good Sand King is. He can just open the sandstorm and farming the whole creep wave in, in the sandstorm, moving around. At the same time, Lover put a lot of pressures on the uh, Terror Blade, harassing him with the press fire. Wolf Storm comes out and just gonna go for another kill on Boboga. As the lost Boboga one more time. Keep in mind that if MTD win this game, Team Asher got to go for a tiebreaker against Team VG Gaming to determine which team is going to be the first place or the second place. Excess! Get chopped down! But can he get something back? QY, QX got away with only around like less than 100 HP. So we can say now that bottom lane has been crushed by Team FTD. I think XSS to focus on using the sandstorm and farm. VG faded. No. Top lane racer still. Being a racer, being Sila, he always win in the um, last hit fight. Very fast farmer and a good lane controller. He barely missed the last hit. VT faded. Oh no, bottom lane, that's some fight happenings again. I just gonna kill that Sand King. Another sentry has been placed around here. And it's a killing spree for Centaur Rana. He already got two Bracer. And now he denied the Sentry Ward. The warding game. <laughs> However, the strike back in the middle with he faded falls because Denied. with the assist of the Chow Charman. Fenrir. Man fight with FTD James, the fight of the wing, the fight of the birds, uh, might end with the tackle. Egret dives away, he might still have an effect uh, of the dual breath. Maybe he's trying to... 
to the suicide? No. What a great start by Team FTD on this one. As a lover. Dazzle. Dazzle post fight. He's gonna become a bigger threat uh, for Team Astro for sure in, in mid game to late game because of the um, Shadow Grave and also the bad Juju. Static Link going for that YRG, but just not enough damage to take down. Back to the middle lane, uh, 2v2 fight here. Dropping quite low for that Astro. Astro Lover trying to walk back to the high ground. He's still being chased by QYQX going to the tree line and uh, trying to hide behind the Chado. Boboka, Boboka, Cello Grave, Boboka still alive, and he's in, and it's gonna be Reedy Faded who get, oh my god, Reedy Faded get lured into the tower. My prayers are answered. <coughs> he almost goes down for the. That's a big kill. Big, big kill on Reedy Faded. That fight alone can easily bounce the momentum back to Team Astro's side. Uh, it doesn't matter how many kills you had in, le in, in early game, but make a mistake in the mid lane like that. Dragonite now got a power thread, and also two Bracer. Look at how the Sand King cutting the creep wave. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Asta. Fade a scale on that Scylla. Push. Power dropping low and Lover come from behind. Uh, I don't think they would bother chasing it, just trying to take Radiant down his power and fall back. Using the power of that Dragon but look at that. Uh, St. Paul Runner is very, very bad. Uh, getting close to a Vanguard and also two Brazer. Alright, welcome back everyone. The Volta. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. By RT. Static thing sorry comes out. And attack on that vein of answer. Venom sacks run Love empty. Her. Slash at YRG down. Bomb lane XSS. Surprisingly, the guy went for the arcane boot first. Normally, Sankin DC will go for something like a two brazer and just get a vanguard, and then after that, get a blink dagger. But it seems like the guy just want to have 
you know, involved more in team fight uh, by having unlimited uh, mana to do the burst, right? Or he just want mana to spam his the uh, sandstorm that he maxed it. Yeah, I think I think that's the reason why he went for uh, an arcane boot. Drag the creep wave away. Let's take a look at the body rune fight here. If the won't stand down for that, the Wolfstorm comes out. That's the attack on the Fenrir. Dominating. I cobble my rune. Oh, he messes retaliate. Oh my god. The, uh, the damage is ridiculous. That's his 200 damage. Shot. Oh, he shot it on the Dragonite. Uh, Dragonite. running away for the Dragonite but what they didn't know for team FTD is that the rest of the team uh, after just surrounded him Stampede trying to get away from that I think he'll be fine because ASS doesn't have a blink doctor he's only around 200k uh, um, 200 gold away Burl's right eight to chop kill send Paul runner and also epicenter kill kill YQ exodazzle they're just gonna get this tower too Easy tower for Team Asa. That's the first tower of the day. Fenrir. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Lover. On the way to the uh Dyer's middle tower. Child Blade uh, instead of going for a blink, so you can do a blink in and Dragon Tail. Child Blade is not bad, increasing stats and his attack. Razor. Oh no, Double let's see. Fenrir is right, uh, FTD James on the bottom lane. Not sure how did he gank that one down. Normally, the Twin Head Dragon is not the kind of hero that's roaming around, but he's good at counter gank with the ice part. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah, so pushing very Radiant fast. Every time that Child Charman got the um, cooldown ready, they're just gonna grouping up and play around. So Tarman not gonna make it. Uh, definitely, he he sacrificed himself for the Dragonite to get away. Yeah, going to a tree line. What about VT faded farming? He's still at the third place when it comes to the network. Uh, now got the uh, power trade. Yeah, three bar, uh, three raid band on the way to the Manta style. Success. Four K ahead. On the way to the four star, it seems. Link Dagger for the Sand King. This is an old school Sand King that focus on mobility. Four star Blink Dagger. Uh, not going for any single brazer. So that makes him doesn't have any magic resistance and that would be easy for Team FTD to take him down when they found him. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. James. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Hero. Sila on the way to the Black King bar. This Dyer's is not a good farming game attack. for him, but still, he needs himself to be on at the top of the network. Once you got the Black King bar, I think uh, I am sure that Asa is just gonna group up and 
using the benefits of having a Dragonite uh, pushing the tower and taunt Team FTD Dyer's to come and defend the tower and crush them there. Radiant's bottom tower is under you attack. FTDs need to, to, to be ready. It's a race of the item between BT Faded and Syla. Faded need um, the damage item before Syla get a Black King bar. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower Dazzle. is under attack. Rubber. Boulder. Very near, just inside, both swipe and miss, nice job by YRT, this is a chance for Team FTD, but the positioning is very bad for Team yeah. FTD. They are not ready to fight, and they might have to sacrifice the bottom tier to tower too. QYQX stays into the three line, uh, there's nothing you could do about. And then we might be going for more dual press, uh, they found one inside, it's QYQX. Like I mentioned earlier, that once uh, as the Dyer's lover get his core item attack. or the guy get a black king body, he's just gonna group up and, and try to take out every single tower. This is three tower left. Sila is ready and they won't let the game go late. They are not gonna win late against PB and the Venomancer, I don't think so. Vader Master Poison Noah is very good in late game. Dealing kind of sick damage to every one of them. XSS. Keep an eye on this guy, this Sand King. He's a very good pilot every time that he land down. Now beat the Burrow right and empty center is his perfect landing. But nice had a grave to save the Phoenix. Uh, he might have one more chance to do the Sun Ray. And that's gonna be the kill on that Syla. Not doing good for Team Aster. They go in, they get countered, and they lost their hard carry. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Success. This is this is the visions, but I kind of like uh, when Venom Master Farm. He always put the uh, plague wards uh, in the side forest, so in whenever you're about to get ganked, that that plague ward. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. As a lover. Dragon Tail, he hit one time first and then Dragon Tail one hit, uh, killing spree for the lover. Didn't even need to uh, go on the Elder Dragon form. I really like uh, he, he, that he really calm, his composure is very high. He even hit one time first before he do the Dragon Tail. He could just, he could have just uh, straight away Dragon Tail and maybe hit two times, but doing that, he might lack one hit. Very composed. Three K go in VT Fate pocket. Good game set by VT Fate. Fall back, he goes in, but right, still catching on the dazzle. Stampede, Dazzle trying to run away, but still die because of the sandstorm. This is why sandstorm is so good in this 7.20 patch. 
They are just gonna go in once again as a lover start to fight with the uh, Dragon Hell. Burrow strike on that turn of blade with another target plasma field dealing with hell without man damage and then James falls. Dead. It's Scylla. Radiant's top tower is under attack. What a great initiation by Team Asta. They, they keep getting tower one by one. And they just need the mid tier to tower before they head back to the Roshan. Sand King waiting for the Hood of Defiance. So he can stand the damage of the Poison Nova. Pierce spell immunity. Radiant are scanning. Gold is a great conductor. Over. Next item is gonna be Mjolnir, and then after that, after Mjolnir, he's just gonna finish the game with a hard Karask, increasing the HP and the damage at the same time. Oh no, AP Center already being used! And FTD! That is a good bait by Centaur Run! Even though they were like 10k ahead, but the game, if they still cannot finish Team FTD, is always a hope. There's always a hope. Master pin walk inside and strike in right away by the Centaur Run. The hoop stomp already being used, and now he gets locked up in the tackle from outside the Roshan pit. XSX dropping quite low, he's getting attacked by the VP Fade. He's the first one to go down. It doesn't matter because SSX doesn't have any ultimate anyway. It's time to go back into the team fight for Scylla coming in with the plasma field dealing some damage to the um, Centaur Run but he was saved uh, by the Telegrader uh, Stampede just got out uh, but not gonna be enough to save himself uh, from getting killed Killing spree for BT Faded Fenrir fought back uh, trying to join the team fight that uh, comes in with Vayno Manza Vayno, Vayno, Vayno is dead now Silencer not silent, I mean Scylla is about to go down too. Still so keep luckily. Shot now that guy. We he fed it. The triple kill. Bad, bad fight for Team Asta. And I'm sure that the network is swinging back to Team FCD. Start to come back up. VT faded. Radiant's bottom tower becoming the attack. highest level in the game for the Tarot Blade. Two point five K go in his pockets now for the TB. Very, very crucial time in the game now. Just a small mistake made by anyone can easily cost them the game. Scylla. He's just got his shield scarred. Oh, wow. Central Runner have to use a stampede to just get this Terror Blade out. No stampede for one minute.
Dragonite. Trying to chase on that YRG. But cannot use, uh, cannot find any angle to use the Dragon Tail. At the same time, it seems like FTD reply with striking on the heart of Team FRT as uh, on the Razor. He needs to turn on the Black King Bar and just run away from the whole army of Team FTD. He got to the high ground safely. But he lost the Black King Bar charges. He down to only around 6. Late game, I don't think Aster oh, can fight yeah. FTD with these kind of heroes. Dyer's Plus all the bad two too from the Dazzle too. Dark light. The Shallow Grave saved him so many times. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Top lane Fenrir. This is a crab. It used to be dropping down like. It used to be so far ahead around like 12k on Team Aster. But now it's only around 5k. In both right, like catching the Phoenix Hex Shackle everything. James down. Dragonite. On the way to the satanic. So Dragonite. Instead of a harder thrust, it went for Satanic to increase the damage. Uh, it seems like they need more damage to deal Dyer with the, the Terror Blade. Level 21. Was stopped by the Ice Bar and also the um, Macro Pyre. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. <laughs> Yeah, go for more for sure. Very fast attack by the VT Fade that plus the support of the Dazzle spamming the healing wave. It's just perfect for them. Nice car. Delping. Dragon Eye.
jumping in on the hex and also the tackle master pin wall. He's just gonna solo kill this guy. The Phoenix. Almost, almost killed the Sphinx. Oh man, last second. Bobo got lost it all. He was hit by a truck. This the war run a truck. It was like he was about to to kill that guy and catching him. And the centaur will run just come in just in time. Sixteen to fourteen game score. Thirty kills. Game momentum is coming back to team FTD side. Very good one. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Fenrir. Henka? What is that? Henka. Henka should mean like still lag. Because car is lag. Henka is still lag. Right? A anyone can read the Chinese in the in the chat. Alright, I hope they are smooth now. Because the game is getting into a very crucial part. Razor. Still 7k ahead. Take a look at the graph. Dropping down to Team Asta. Asta low 20. Terra Blade is getting. Caught up by the two carries of Team Aster. The whole team's more for Team FTD. They don't want this game. And it's tied with Team Asa. Centaur Runner with the uh, Crimson Guard. And a Blink Dagger. Dice are scanning. Dragonite. Uh, that's nothing much in the game for now. It's, it's it feels like MTD is just trying to manage the creep wave and trying to push the creep wave toward Team Asa, but Asa is still experienced enough to know about that, and they they manage that creep wave quite well. As you can see, bottom lane pushed, top lane pushed. Goes in. Terror Blade. It's such a hard game for both of them. For all of us too. The next fight is the most important fight so far since the game start. Because 
they are reaching the point that they are 50-50 now even though it's a 6k ahead in terms of net worth as, as you can see it's stable and that is the item update Trade to the NC and it hears some sound. It's gonna be Sila turn on the black team by and just teleport away. Stampede trying to catch somebody in the middle lane. XSS. But they all got away for Team Acer. That was so close. So the fact that they know that Zyla doesn't have any black king bar left, so they just go straight to the Roshan pit and try to get the Roach. But however, Sand King still have his fling dagger bow, so right, epicenter is ready, they're setting up by the uh, having the macro pie first, ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to put your hands in the air before this team fight started, uh, because it's, it's the most important team fight in this game, uh, XSS tried to go in, but he cannot blame because of the play war, they have to let him go, they have to give away the ages because he kind of blink with the Plague Ward. Pop the Black King Bar, lock down and Master Pen Ward. So Boboga going to the tree line. That is perfect spot. He used to hide there. But not this time, Boboga. You used it last time. Not again, Boboga. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. That Plague Ward, though, is really annoying. What a play by YRG using the Plague Ward to, to block. Uh, uh, that Sand King from blinking in, but I'll try Epicenter. And it's gonna be like this for the whole game. Sand King gotta deal with the Plague Ward all the time. I think it's time for Sand King to consider a Black King bar. is a great conductor. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I mean, now catching the central run, Burrow's right. Yield Scepter. In order to stop the ball running from Stampede the way they have to change the target. And the rest of Team FGD is teleported down. Uh, ready to fight for that Scylla turn, the Black King bar. Plasma field deal damage, Burrow's right on two. They're just gonna kill it all. This is what Asa waiting for. Triple kill for the Scylla and they still go for more. Maybe a blinking Burrow's right could just stop that Phoenix. For sure they want more. But never mind. It is still with Terror Blight. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Coming in for the sandstorm, and they need to be careful. No sandfall runner for 45 seconds. This is a perfect opportunity for Team Asa to go up on the high ground, or maybe just try to take down the uh, mid tier 3 tower. It's a part uh, to destroy the shrine. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Turn on into uh, the blue eye white dragon strike in the middle and the rest of team uh, Aster just go to the bottom now they got the tier 3 tower they're gonna lose the mid tier 3 tower too team Aster very good shot uh, has shackle down third blade standing still they're shooting the sun ray the doctor is here the doctor james uh, dr james and also dr qyqx uh, oh my goodness uh, this is what's it like they're uh, having two doctors in the same team the heal the hospital strat uh, but it just cannot stop the blue eye white dragon from taking them uh, the first set of rags and it's just gonna turn on the black king bar and fall back one push one mistake one pick off can cost them serious damage no more ages still have a cheese ftd need to do something about Say hi to all the guys in the chat room. Uh, I have been casting for uh, oh, six, seven hours. This is my sixth game. And if Aster 
lose this game, we're gonna go to the seventh game. How good it is! Tomorrow is gonna be the playoff, but I am not sure if I will be able to cast a playoff or not, because I am only booked for the group stage round. If I cannot cast it, you guys will see me again on Monday casting the PGL minor for Southeast Asia qualifiers. A lot of strong team, guys. A success. I'm sorry. Alright, uh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I was checking some message from the admins uh, to see you. And yep, I think if... Like I said, if after loses one, that should be a tie break. Plasma filter out of Black King Bar. Let's go for the big team fight right here. They just all melted down for the center over under Black King Bar. Everyone that has it, even my mama, also have a Black King Bar here. He forced up himself into the tight grind, trying to get away from the weed. He faded away the master. Poison over finally comes out and it's all. Three games successful. Lay the eggs. And he just come back with the full HP. Sailor, man fight. He gonna lose to weed. He faded and he got him. Sailor down. Fenrir died because of the poison. Triple kill for me, he faded. Oh my goodness. What actually happened here? But the fight's not even over yet. Boboka just tackled. Fenrir with a double kill. How is that support get a double kill though? Fenrir. Boboka being far for up himself out. Uh, and he hacked his trying so hard just to get away from that. Chaco and jumped away by Fenrir. Oh, fancy footwork. Oh my god. Mm. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. <sighs> what a play. <laughs> Watch this change. Yeah, two point two K go turn swing back to FTD side. Attack. This game is not gonna end easily, even though FTD lost the um, first set of racks in the middle lane, but no, no, it won't end easy. Dragonite, Terrorblade, VT Faded have shown us that he can handle uh, a lot of pressure in late game against all the veteran players from Team Acer, like the uh, Scylla. Because the idea to win the team fight right now is just to to double team, triple team. If you can get that uh, tunnel blade down, then is it that that's all? FTD is gone, man.
if he faded with a black king bar how to only oh he still got a lot of black king bar charges now here we go the whole team smoke sand king need to make sure that he could land Blinking burrow side smoke pop the, it's time to go in sand king dodge that one uh. now here we go it's the time to go in for the black king bar burrow strike on three what a play by the sand king sss waiting for his neck burrow strike uh. Checker on that turtle blade, uh, dropping quite low, he still got a chance to do the Sunder, he's Sunder his teammate and fight in the front line, uh, X11, he crap dives in and laid eggs, uh, the ace is going to kill every one of team X, uh, they have to get rid of the turtle blade before the ace comes out, uh, few hits away on the turtle blade, uh, Burrow strike, turtle blade down, it's all over, no, not yet, uh, Use Scepter comes down, turtle blade's got a buyback, uh, but he will be the only one, uh, who's standing in the team fight, standing in front of Team Acer, defending the throne, which is, I don't think he'll be able to do so. Oh my god, what a game we have here, the last game of the day. Always like this. I mean, you know, as a commentator, you're trying to have the energy left for your family, like talking with mom or something. But the daughter, this is daughter. This is the life of daughter. It will drain you out. Uh, drain all of your energy Radiant's out. So after casting this game, I go straight uh, to meet Dr. James. <laughs> I can't stand it anymore. Radiant's I'm running out of energy. I right, just go for more for the barracks here. Sila started attacking on him, the, the moving Tesla coil is doing his job, well, VT faded, turned himself into the metamorph forces, attack on the Sila, Sila just need the bar access, one hit away, anyone just have to sacrifice his life, goes in on the one hit, it's only 20 HP left that nobody want to do, they all chicken out, but Boga just gonna teleport back, they saved their life. I'll take oh my. Not thing left uh, for Team FTD. Coin of the realm. XSS. Turn on the sandstorm. Well, next fight is going to be the last fight, guys. Because as you can see from the buyback stages, nobody have the buyback at all. <laughs> the guy went for the um, oh, illusion sky, that, and it's going to be the fight. The Rochan paid a tackle on the Rochan half HP already. Whereas the real one of the uh, lover, he's still in a Rochan pit. It, it's it's down to Team FTD if they want to contest or not. It goes in with the Black King, but I still no metamorphosis. This is one to take. This one, uh, but XSS comes in with the Burrow Strike AP Center. Just as soon as the uh, BKB runs out from the Terror Blade, uh, Ice Pass already comes in too. The, somebody's stuck in the high ground and he will be executed by the Terror Blade, but no, he's forced out himself to the lower ground. Somebody go back into the road hunt, Peter, finish the road hunt, please. And XT, we defended. Walking back, stuck in an iPad, a lover on the Black King Bar, go straight for the VT fan, and Chalo Grab still safe him for a while, no Sunder! He still need around like 15 seconds more for the Sunder, finally they took out VT fan, and no buyback, 2 minutes, and that should be the game for Team Aster! GG has been called, Aster won! They avoid meeting PSC LGD, and they finish this group stage as a champion! What a game! <laughs> what a game here! Forty-seven minutes of madness, you know. Um, yeah, it might be a passive in the start, but after that, it's crazy. It's just crazy. That's the stats, guys. Oh my goodness! What a day! Thank you so much, everyone, for like tuning in. 
And mm, that should be it. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll let you know at my Facebook page that w will I cast more or not for the playoff first match. But um, thank you everyone for tuning in right from the start for today. It's the sixth game in a row today and 12th game in two days. I hope you guys have fun with the group stage of the China qualifiers. If I did anything wrong, if I, you know, like maybe talking and my talk sometimes offended you guys or what, um, I, I, I gotta uh, say apologize, man. Thank you. Thank you once again. Uh, anything, if you want to chat with me, you can just go to Twitter, twitter.com slash cyclops with 2c. Uh, leave me a message or, yeah. Thank you. It's such a long day. What a great game. I'm just going to say goodbye with the uh, last song before I close the stream. Please, don't close my stream before I end my last song, please. Alright. And... See you around, man. Thank you so much.